you guys don't I entered inside YouTube. I was confused. I I think I started I started um the podcast 14th. I started it as audio only. And every time I would release it, an episode only audio, the Holy Spirit would just look at me and be like, "You know this thing is meant to be on YouTube, right? You know this is supposed to be a video." Hello, welcome back to another episode. Uh, my name is Brainy Stauda. I'm the host of this podcast, Honey and Milk Podcast. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Please do get comfortable, sit down, you know, enjoy. Today's episode, just as the setting as today, is not going to be the usual episode. It's going to be an episode that I will be trying to spill the tea a little bit more about this podcast. And I tried my best to put together the details as accurately as I could. And God willing, <laughs> I'll be able to have a good time with you guys. Um, today's episode is all about how this podcast came to be how God led my way to making this podcast and how it took quite a while. <laughs> before I started it and before I actually moved to YouTube. And yeah, so before I continue, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. We uh, talk about all things God, the Bible, experiences, testimonies, um, all to the glory of God in order for us to know more about Christ, in order for us to walk and become more like Christ. So that is this podcast. So I'll just start with how it all began from the very beginning shall i you'd see me looking down that's because i'm looking at my phone i told you i already tried my best to put all the tea together <laughs> as accurately as i can and yeah so i'm just looking down for references it's not like i don't want to be seeing your pretty faces <laughs> all right um at the beginning so anyone that knows me knows that um i had a podcast before this it was called Bee's Knees. It was purely audio. It was not on YouTube. There was no video to it. It was just audio. And it started It started during COVID time. The exact, exact time was April 2020. That was when I started Bee's Knees. And there was not really any form to it. Nothing grand. <laughs> it was just to pass the time. I think the first... Yeah, the first episode was actually about a movie that i watched together with some of my friends called the platform and that movie was it was so crazy by the way if you haven't watched it go and watch it <laughs> it's a very interesting take on human beings on how we react when we are pushed to the extremes it was it was very jarring to see it spoke about death it spoke about you know um, I wouldn't really call it capitalism. I would just call it when we are in lack as human beings and when we have the opportunity to have power over another person and how we actually act sometimes in such situations. Um, so yeah, that's the movie has a lot of things to it, a lot of topics to it. <laughs> and that was what I started business with. The whole purpose of business was just to pass time during COVID. There wasn't anything grand to it. I think the description I put for it was like a formless pool of thoughts because I thought like I have some really nice conversations with the people I'm around, uh, my friends, loved ones, associates and all that. So I then thought like it would be interesting to just put this up, you know, set up a mic as we were talking and have it recorded and send it over to the world wide web <laughs> so that was how business started and it was also a way to pass the time during covid because everything was on lockdown and even though everything was on lockdown i still had to go to work yeah but still it was like okay let's just do something <laughs> let's just do something this time that there's nothing to do and that's how business started business started around april 2020 and um yeah the first two episodes were about 
the movie I watched, I think we talked about survival, um, survival and death and all that, um, which is why sometimes, okay, so just a little disclaimer. There are some websites that when you Google Honey and Milk podcast on, you would see like other episodes underneath it that don't correspond with the Honey and Milk. That was the old one. It's been all deleted. Like all the episodes have been deleted from my side either ways, but there are some websites that still have it. I don't know why, but like they say, the internet never forgets. Um, Moving on, I did this business for two years about two years i would actually say one year um because the last proper season that i finished was december 2021 but then the last episode i released for the business was august 16th 2022 and it was how to become a billionaire with 10 euros because <laughs> if <laughs> A friend of mine requested it. He was like, shout out to Danny, by the way, who's listening to this. He was like, "Um, yeah, you haven't released anything. I was like, no, I don't have anything to release. I was like, okay, um, give me a topic. And I you know, told me how to become a billionaire with 10 euros. And I did it. I think I said some really reasonable things in those episodes, but I can't remember what I said. I know, I can't remember what I said. It was semi-reasonable. I tried my best. (laughs) And then the next thing is like, I now finished that. I lost, of course, that was around the time that COVID was ending. Life was becoming normal. And I myself kind of just lost interest in it. And I'd already like forgotten about it. Then fast forward to March 2023. That is when I would say, now that I was documenting everything, that is when I would say God was rolling the ball (laughs) of this thing. Um, So basically, it took me about six months to start this thing. Six months. Because it was March, and then I think it properly started July. But I'll tell you the whole story, basically, as we're going. So March 2023... A friend and a brother in Christ, his name is Emmanuel. He has the calling of a prophet. And I'll actually put his website in the description box. Yes, I'll put the, his website link in the description box. He offers prophetic, prophetic counseling. And um, yeah, please feel free to um, go to him for issues that you need help for, that you've been seeking advice for seeking for advice um as a christian in the christian um as a person in the faith and you need special advice for so i highly recommend that uh please go to him his name is prophet emmanuel ekundayo yeah i'll put his website in the link below so one time I, i don't know what i think it was a dream he said that he had and in that dream he said that he saw he saw my face like um i think how he put it like how you would see somebody on youtube you know like if this banners and profile pr- i don't know how he saw it but he said that it looked like a banner and he knew that it was associated with youtube and my face was on it i was like who <laughs> where <laughs> whose face So, um, I've always been a private person. I've kind of always been a shy person. Not even kind of. I think I still am. I think it's just God helping me to do these things. And so when he told me that, I was like, no, thank you. There was a reason why I did a podcast. There was a reason why I did an audio-only podcast. (laughs) But he was like, yeah, he saw that. And I was like, okay, interesting. Um... And as time went, I would just be praying about it, asking God, what does he mean by this? You know, all of that. And it came at a really interesting time in my life because I was thinking of what to do next in my life. I forgot to now come and say that. (laughs) It was very interesting. (laughs) By the way, my background is an engineering background. (laughs) I have nothing. 
nothing to do with creativity. It is, well, I mean, like, creativity when I mean, when I come to, like, arts, artistic stuff, communication, social sciences, like, YouTube and all that. My background was not in that at all. I was in engineering. I was in health sciences. I was in medicine. That was what I was doing in my life. Um, but this is what God wanted. And then, um, fast forward to June. So he said this in March. Now fast forward to June. That's like already three months after. Why did I say six months then? July. Okay, almost because it's five months. Okay, never mind. Almost six months, not six months. You see, I'm trying to be very accurate with this tea. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> and then June comes and... Um, a friend of mine, I'm not going to say her name because I know for privacy situations and all of that, I was able to say um, Prophet Emmanuel's name because number one, I asked him and number two, he's a public figure already. <laughs> so then um, my sister in the Lord, I'll call her Sister O, she hosts this house fellowship session at our house and this was june 2023 and it was a very very amazing time it was absolutely amazing the presence of god was evident in that room and then she in the course of the fellowship she now spoke um prophetically and was like the lord sent a word to some of the people in that room that they had they are channels i i can't remember exactly how she said it but how she stated it was that there are channels and there are um pa platforms yeah there are channels and there are platforms that we have folded away and the lord is telling us to revive those things and as she said it the holy spirit you know just <laughs> forgive me because sometimes how i how i envision the holy spirit talking to me is like a person actually talking to me so it's like when she said that i i felt the holy spirit just turn to me i'm like you know she's talking about you <laughs> i said where <laughs> where who <laughs> so um then fast forward to the end of the fellowship and she goes around collecting testimonies about that about our time in the fellowship and um, she wanted us to record it so she was passing her phone around and then it came to my turn and i don't know why i started it off in my podcast voice i actually started with hi guys and something 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 and when she said that when i did that she now looked at me she was like you know you're part of the people right <laughs> And when she said it, I was like, yeah, I think I know I am, but mm -mm, okay. <laughs> so then um, I said the testimony about how I was meant to be somewhere, somewhere else that day, but somehow God allowed me to choose coming to the fellowship instead. And that's when everything happened. And yeah, so I gave my testimony that day and everything. And the reason why I did not want to take that word from me was because I was not the only content creator in the room. So I initially thought that it's just my head. Even after I felt like it was the Holy Spirit leading me to know that that word was for me. But then I was now like, nah, maybe I'm overthinking it or something. So when she now confirmed it to me, I was like, okay, I wasn't overthinking it. Maybe I was on the right track. <laughs> and um, you would think that after that, I would be more active in trying to see or rather trying to set up this platform but i wasn't then fast forward to like the end of that month so that was around 2nd of june and then fast forward to 24th of june that's almost like that's like 22 days after almost a month after and I'm now, I think during the whole period, I'm still praying, but I'm not so, I don't know how to put it. So I have this thing where I, I tend to want a lot of confirmations 
about something. So, pardon me. So I was still constantly praying, still constantly asking God, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, if you are sure, like, what do you want me to do? What is it going to be? What is it going to entail? What is the name? This is you that has led this thing. It's you that will drive it, sir. I was on my own in my medical engineering side. You said that you want me here. So you have to tell me, like, what do you want? And I just kept on, like, on and off. I would meditate on it. On and off, I would pray about it. But I wasn't, like, actively going towards it. Not really. But then 24th of June. Sorry, let me confirm that. Yeah, 24th of June. I'm now praying with a few of my sisters in Christ and I bring up, I think I bring it up as a prayer point where I'm like, I'm asking God about this thing, but I haven't gotten anything yet. And, you know, like, let's just pray about it. I know. And as they're praying about it, I get a vision of what God wants this podcast and this platform to be, basically. And um, I was like, okay, understood, (laughs) onward. And then um, as that vision comes, then um, one of my sisters, um, I love her so much, but I'm not going to say her name. (laughs) I'm not going to say her name, but I love them all so much. Um, She now gets a word from from the Lord for me. And she tells me that, oh, that God says that I should set a date and set a time to meet with him and he will answer me. So uh, I remember this being a Saturday and then the next day was a Sunday. So I know, as she said that, I know, like, I didn't openly pray it. I was just praying to God in my heart and I was telling God, okay, then let's set tomorrow morning. I think I said either 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. It was very early in the morning because I also had to go to church. So, and I said, okay, I will meet with him before I have to start dressing and going to church. So, I think it was either 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. And then, um, that was it. I went to bed. (laughs) We finished praying. I went to bed. That night was a rough night for me. But when I woke up, I woke up with two scriptures in my head. I woke up with Proverbs, give me a moment, Proverbs 18, verse 10. The one that spoke about um, the name of the Lord is a strong strong tower and, uh, give me a moment, I'm going to actually have to say this properly. Let me not take the Bible out of context. So that was Proverbs... uh, Proverbs 18, verse 10. Yeah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are protected. You would think by now I know this scripture offhand. But no. (laughs) Yeah. Proverbs 18, verse 10. That was it. And then um, the second one I woke up with was Songs of Songs 2. So Songs of Songs is also known as Songs of Solomon. So those were the two scriptures I woke up with in my heart. So this was my first time having a meeting with Jesus. But I assumed in the nature of God as a gentleman that he would keep to his promise and he would be faithful and he would show up. So I woke up and I sat at my desk and I was just thinking, okay, how is this thing going to be? Is it going to write it at the sky? Am I going to see him appear physically? I'll be like, my child. (laughs) I'm sorry for being so dramatic. I'm actually now gisting with you guys. You know, the other videos are a bit more formal. That one we are trying to do Bible studies in a way. This one is a bit more informal, which is why I said, like, this episode is more for me than it is for you. And I will say why after the end of this video. And um, so I sat down and I was like, okay, Jesus, I'm very nervous now. (laughs) I'm very nervous and I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to do. I said, okay, I'm just going to pray. 
put on some worship music and read my bible and we'll see as time goes what you have in store for me and um, so that's what I did I prayed um, it was a beautiful sunrise that day I remember I remember opening my window and I was like oh this is very pretty and um, I was I've prayed and then there was worship music in the background and then I opened the two scriptures that I had so the Proverbs 18 one and the songs of Solomon songs of songs two. I opened those two and when I read them I'm like okay yeah no nothing really jumped out at me and I didn't know what to do so I was like okay I have songs of songs is a quite short um, book so I would read through song of, songs of songs and so I go back to songs of songs one and it's also a very beautiful book in the Bible by the way it's it's a really beautiful book <laughs> Uh, so I now start going through Songs of Songs. I finish with Songs of Songs 1. I read through Songs of Songs 2. I read through Songs of Songs 3. And I get to Songs of Songs 4. And as I'm reading, I come across Songs of Songs 4 verse 11. And immediately I set my eyes on that scripture my body just froze up and it's like my heart started beating <laughs> it was just beating and i was like oh my gosh i think i think this is it i think this is it i would i, I like i would read it read it again go back read it again <laughs> go back read it again and it felt like you know how s- there are some people that when they describe their experiences with the lord speaking to them through scriptures they would say it's like that verse was highlighted to them i would say my experience is almost the same like i couldn't my eyes couldn't pass that verse <laughs> i would i would try reading the rest and i would come back to it i would try reading i think i continued reading and i actually did finish finish reading songs of songs because after i saw that and it just gripped me i was like no no okay maybe i'm just overthinking it can you see the pattern of me overthinking now yeah anywho I scroll through, not scroll through, because I was reading my physical Bible. So I read through the end of Songs of Songs 8, and I still went back to that scripture. Because that scripture was like, wow, wow. So as I was just looking at it and looking at it, the words honey and milk jumped up at me. So I'm going to read out the Songs of Songs 4 verse 11, so that we're all on board here. So, Songs of Songs 4, verse 11. It says, Your lips drip sweetness like the honeycomb, my bride. Honey and milk are under your tongue. The fragrance of your garment is like the fragrance of Lebanon. So, you think like, there are lots of words I can collect from this verse 11. But the ones that jumped up, jumped up at me were honey and milk. And because of, um, so another popular say, like one of the well-known parts of the Bible about um, the Israelites traveling to the promised land is that the land was filled with milk and honey. So I started asking God, I was like, is it milk and honey? Because that one is like a little bit more, everybody knows that one. But he was like, no, <laughs> what was there? <laughs> No, what was there? And I said, okay, honey and milk it is. So that was when I got the name for Honey and Milk Podcast. (laughs) You would think I would go ahead after that. No. (laughs) I promise I'm not trying to be stubborn. I really am not. But that is just, yeah. There's no excuse for it there isn't um but that was just my journey so after getting the the name of the podcast on the 25th of june um i now fast forward fast forward to like 6th of june so that's just give give or take about two weeks then um during that time sister O pops up again and um by the way she's very pivotal to the making of this platform kudos to you love you girl um 
so sister O pops up again and be why does she oh yeah she pops up because we decide to um i decide to join join her in a journey throughout the month of july to pray at a certain time every night um for the whole month of july so as that is going on on the 6th of july as i'm praying and i'm still like once once in a while i know that the lord has given me the name for this podcast but i'm still like okay you have given me the name what do i do when do i go how do i do this what do you want the purpose to be <laughs> god. god will answer one question for me and it's like that answer will bring about 15 other questions why anyhow so that's what's going on in my head i'm like asking okay when do i start when do i do this what do you want me to do this for blah blah blah, blah, blah. and 6th of july as i'm praying he now leads me to Exodus. Oh God, I pray I remember that verse. But it was a verse... Um, I can't remember. I'll just paraphrase it. I'm sorry. I'll put it in the description box. <laughs> I'm just paraphrasing it right now. But it was when um, the Israelites and Moses, they were in front of the Red Sea and they didn't they were locked in they didn't have anywhere else to go and then um sorry i think i actually have it it should be exodus 14 verse 15. give me a hot minute let me just quickly confirm (laughs) yes Yes, um, Exodus 14 verse 15, that was the verse that he gave me that day as I was praying and I was asking him, okay, when do I go, how do I start, what do I do? He then gives me Exodus 14 15 and he says, um, it says, the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to break camp. <sighs> yeah, so the message from that was... Or rather, the message God was giving me was like, why are you still asking me? Get out. (laughs) And I don't mean get out, like get out of my sight, but more like get out, like go and do what I've told you to do. And I remember reading the scripture and I was like, why are you shouting, sir? Wow. Didn't have to just say it like that. I'm laughing a lot because looking back, God has tried for me. Yeah, he really has. So that was the scripture he gave me on that day, um, 6th of July. And you would think I would immediately start after that. But then that was when I started actually, that was when I actually started to go ahead and acquire the equipment that I needed, how I started researching how to do all these things. So after I I obeyed, guys, I did. I did. (laughs) It just took me a while to get it started. (laughs) Um, Then on the 10th of July, God was so kind to me. He then brought... Um, prophet Emmanuel to me again and I remember we were just speaking and we were talking about I don't know whether I brought up the podcast or something I think I brought up the podcast and then he now confirmed to me the vision that I saw when we were praying so if you think back to the time that we were praying together not the house fellowship one the prayer one that I said that God gave me a vision of what he wanted this platform to be so he then confirms to me he confirms to me what I saw on that day and that was so kind of God towards me to just give me another assurance that you know we're good <sighs> then I started on 14th of July that was the time that was the day that I re- released the very first episode of honey and milk podcast 14th of July 2023 and I started it audio only <laughs> so i started it out only via audio and i 
just continued with how I was doing the business before. And as God so good will have it, Sister O appears again. <laughs> so she listens to one of the episodes and then she notices that I did not, like I built, or rather I continued, um, even though I changed the name and everything, the old episodes of business were still there. And then she didn't even, she didn't even, she didn't tell me anything, you know, prophetic or anything like that. No, she just asked me, did you ask God if we were to build on the old or start something new? I said, yay. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Nice question. So me in my logical mind, I said, I was like, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. You know, they're, they're still Christianese enough. You know, there was nothing wrong with it. It wasn't vulgar. It wasn't wrong. The old episodes. And I now wisely went back to God and I asked him and I prayed and I was like, okay, God, what do you, like, concerning the situation, what do you want? He now says, I'm doing something new. <laughs> I said, wow. So that's when I went to go and delete the old episodes, even though, like I said, the internet does not forget and they are still there in some websites, but they are not there on Spotify. They are not there on Apple Podcasts and everything, but you can still find a trace of them. If you know what to look for, they are still there. Um, So yeah, that was what led me to realize that this is a whole new thing that God was doing, a whole new thing he was doing. And as the days progressed, he started opening my eyes to see the purpose of this podcast. I think even when I started it, I did not fully understand what its purpose is. And I think till now, I actually still don't fully understand the structure. Or rather, I don't, I don't know how to put it. Let me just say that I'm still learning. I'm still on the journey of learning. I'm still understanding what this is. And the main thing is that in everything, the Holy Spirit is here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me stop laughing. Because the way I used to, the way I used to pray about this podcast, and you guys don't, I entered inside YouTube, I was confused. I, I think I started, I started um, the podcast 14th. I started it as audio only. And every time I would release an episode, only audio, the Holy Spirit would just look at me and be like, you know this thing is meant to be on YouTube, right? You know this is supposed to be a video. And I will just be like, yes, sir. And just be going. (laughs) But then I now finally entered into YouTube, 22nd of September. Um, I wasn't... I was dragging my leg because, like I said, I am shy. I don't like to see my face in public (laughs) you're not supposed to be seeing my face what are you seeing my face for (laughs) but here I am Um, so I was dragging my leg because I didn't really want to be seen and um, I also needed the equipment as well that was when I started you know researching finding things on how to do this how not do it how to upload to YouTube opening the channel, the websites I needed, and email, and all of this, and all of this, because I didn't want it linked to my personal one, so I had to, like, open accounts for everything, and set everything up, so I entered YouTube 2020, yeah, 2023 September, that's when I, that was my first YouTube video, and then we were going, we were going, and it's like, the more I would research about YouTube, the more we, the more things will just pop up. This one will be telling me about thumbnail and title. Ah, uh, why? Can I just record and get this thing out? Why are you telling me all these things? Why? But it now got overwhelming for me because I still had other stuff to do. And thankfully, God brought somebody my way. Um, I think I forgot his name. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. But I'll reference the person below in the description box. He is a podcast um consultant 
yeah he does consultancy services and he reached out to me on linkedin to offer me a free service um free um i don't know how to describe it but like basically a free consultant yeah free consultancy as a I don't know, I guess to promote his services, I don't know, but I jumped at it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I wasn't going to pay for it. I was still out here figuring out some stuff. But I really do believe that God led him because he opened my eyes to how much better the podcast could be. And then I decided to shut down for a while so that I don't do things haphazardly and then come back after. So even though we started late September on YouTube, I shut down November and December and I came back January. Um, yeah, came back January with the first video of this month and so far we have been subpar consistent. At least every, every two weeks there is a video. Like last week there was no video, but this week there's a video. And um, yeah. So that has been the journey so far. And the reason why we get to have better sound quality now is because God used my one of my aunts. And huge thanks to her, guys. Like, really, really, really big thanks to her. And the reason why I... It's even one of the reasons why I decided to make this testimony video. Because when she offered to... Okay, let me start from the beginning like this, right? So as the beginning of this year, as I was thinking of how to do the podcast better, a lot of things, um, rather a lot of, as I was researching and looking through a lot of websites, a lot of people said you had to have, the major thing is to have quality audio. Quality audio for a podcast, even with video. They said the major thing is quality audio and then quality video so i prioritized getting a new microphone um the ones that were within my budget were the ones we were using so shout out to another brother in christ his brother g (laughs) he knows himself so he actually gifted me the first microphone the wired one that we were using he gifted it he gifted it to me for bees knees so that was carried over to honey and milk and then as we were going, I decided to buy a lavier mic, but the ones that I, would, I was getting was not so great. But we did get um, we did get the other one I was using before this one, and so that was what I entered into 2024 with. So when I was praying in the beginning of this year about goals of this year milestones you know all of that planning goals 2024 resolutions and everything i said i wanted to buy a good microphone for this podcast i didn't know how i was going to do and in my head i'd already planned so i prayed to god and i was like god this is what i would like this the next step of this podcast to be and i had already envisioned that i would save towards it and it would most likely be towards the end of the year. Something like that, September, October time. And it was something like this I wanted, you guys. So, I don't know, you can't see it because of... But it has a boom arm. And I don't even know why I did that. That was not smart. The audio quality in that few seconds would be trash. But, love you guys. <laughs> um, but it has a boom arm, guys. And that was what I had envisioned. I said, this is what I wanted. And I prayed and I said, God, it is your podcast. (laughs) This is actually how I pray to God sometimes. Um, I'm very aware that he is God, but he's also my father. So sometimes when I'm sitting down, I'm just sitting with him. I'm like, this is your podcast. I was on my own. (laughs) He said, I should come back here. I'm here. (laughs) So carry me there, go Jesus. (laughs) I should stop laughing. Um, And so that was my resolution for this year. And that was, um, thankfully, I'd already met her earlier this year as well. I hadn't seen her in so many years, guys. And I'd seen her for uh, the first time, I believe, in eight, ten years. 
I would say eight years. I'm not sure if it's ten years, but I would say at least eight years. And seeing her again, I was so so happy. And even when we were talking, um, she had already started listening to my podcast even before then when I released it and everything. And um, we just talked about it together with my uncle that also has an amazing advertisement agency and I believe they also have entered into the world of podcasting so we were just talking about it and I stated like yeah I would like a mic and everything but that was the end of it it was just conversation and then um a few weeks ago as we're as I'm living my life (laughs) She now, um, I think after an episode that I dropped, she now comes, she now sends me a text, you know, hi, how are you doing, all that. She now says, why do I hold my microphone? And she's not the only one that has asked. So, you guys, let me tell you the answer that I gave her. That microphone, right? It's a better microphone, a better lavier microphone than the others that I, there was, than one other mic I tried. And that one, it if I clip it at an angle, and because of the clothes I would wear, um, there wasn't really any stable place to keep it that it would stay straight. And if it's not straight, the quality of the audio that it receives, it drastically reduces. So I had to hold it in order for it to be, um, in order for it to be straight into the mic, and pick it up at its best. Basically, give me the best audio quality. That it could offer me that was why i was holding the mic and i told her and she said okay and then i believe it wasn't that same day but it was like a few days after she now texts me she's like oh that she would like i hope this is correct but still let me just say that she texts me and then she's like she would like to sew into my ministry i say wow <laughs> would the lord do it <laughs> So I was like, okay. She said, yeah, I would give you an option between a microphone and lighting. So I think a lighting box or something. I jumped at the microphone. I said, lights? Don't worry, sunlight is here. (laughs) Wow. I can't believe I'm showing you guys my true colors. Wow, interesting. Anywho, um... So I jump at the offer of a mic and I love how, I, I don't know whether it was God that led her not to tell me what mic it was. And um, she says, okay, send me your address, no problem. Send me your address. And she tells me that she has sent the parcel, like she has bought the package and it's on its way. And so I'm just waiting patiently. And then one day I come back from work and I see a packet. I'm like, ooh nice (laughs) i open it up and i see this beautiful microphone like guys i was speechless i i was i was speechless if you see the video that i sent to her i think i said thank you (laughs) like up to 50 times (laughs) i was just i was so blown away i was so so blown away it was exactly what i wanted it was exactly how i wanted it and I'm still blown away, guys. <laughs> that day, I came back. I was not feeling well at work. So I came back in order for me to lay down, take a nap, you know, rest, wake up, sleep, eat, and continue with my day. I did not. It's like strength entered into me after I saw that microphone. I rearranged my whole room. I had to find space to accommodate this microphone. And this is why we have this now. So this is where we'll be taking the videos from now on. And I was just so thankful. Even till now, I think I'm still very, very blown away with this. I can't say thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie. It means so much to me. Um, so, uh, yeah, that has been the journey so far. And then for God to just do a very God thing, he now threw in a nice little sign for me. So, um, this might not mean a lot to you guys, or it might not make sense, but for me, it just was very comforting. I've had, I had some dreams, will I say dreams or dream? 
dreams actually i've had more than one dream um and i've had encounters with the animal the whale and they were really pleasant encounters so far and so for me it's even a few days ago that i realized this i was just looking at the mic and then i noticed that the symbol of the brand is a whale i said wow you are here <laughs> you are here nice <laughs> so that was also for me another confirmation from the lord and it's it's just been really nice honestly i'm not even going to lie i don't i can't even say that i understand everything that's going on and i cannot promise that i will understand it anytime soon this is just me obeying and now I'll go to the reason why I decided to do this testimony video and like I said it is more for me than it is for you and I want this to be like an anchor video for me because I don't know I would say it's a human thing but I would also say it's a me thing because um, of recent I was I had been thinking like this would blow up more than I thought it would. This would be more, the growth of it would be more rapid than as it is now. And uh, honest to God, I am still very, very, very thankful. Like, I think on Wednesday, I released a post saying thank you and like some of the um, milestones that we have achieved at, um, as a podcast, you know. I don't take it for granted, pardon me. I don't take it for granted, um, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. This video is more for accountability. <laughs> yes. It is to be held accountable for the thing, or for this gift that God has given to me to steward because um, I started getting the temptation of wanting to compromise and do things that I already decided I would not. Um, even though there isn't anything inherently bad about those things, but I personally said I will not do them, you know. But then, of recent, I started having this um, temptation to just try it, you know, just let the ball start rolling. And it was... <sighs> I had to go and repent. I just had to ask God for forgiveness because it was very daring of me to think that number one, this was my idea, this was not my idea, and number two, to think that I have anything to do to control it. I can't, I can't control it. I just can't. It's out of my hands now. So, um, yeah, that's the reason for this video to hopefully. Be held accountable i know that that opens me up to the opinions of um, a lot of people that we have differing beliefs differing doctrines differing opinions and everything i know but the positive of this outweighs the negative for me and yeah i hope <laughs> it's a blessing to you guys i hope it's interesting this was very chit chatty. <laughs> it was a very different episode than the rest. It was me just talking. It was me just talking. Um, but that is the whole point of this podcast as well. Just like I said, it's to do with the Bible, it's to do with Jesus, it's to do with God, it's to do with the Holy Spirit. And it is to do with our testimonies, a.k.a. our life experiences. You know, there's a Bible verse that says that they overcame the adversary by the blood of the Lamb and by the testimonies of their lips, you know. Once again, paraphrasing. I should know these things of hand. I do not. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is me saying thank you to God for everything he has done um i still have moments where i feel like i am inadequate for this task 
and I just have to basically get over myself because it is not about me. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter how I think. I just have to appear and keep showing up. And hopefully the Lord will continue to have mercy and that I continue to find grace for what I need to do um, in this time of my life. Yeah. And the second thing is to say thank you to you guys. You guys mean a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I pray that God will become more real to you each and every day. Um, that is actually what I want. I want God to become more real to you every day. I want the presence of God to be your dwelling place. And I pray that you, your, your love for God will grow each and every moment of your life, you know? And um, that is all for today. <laughs> Don't forget. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Honey and Milk Podcast. Don't forget to write me an email at hi.b at honeyandmilk.org. Feel free to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, um, and let me know what you think. Always and forever, I love you guys with the love of God. 